the SAP Data Intelligence Launchpad provides a single point of access to a range of user-facing applications. The applications you can access include SAP Vora Tools, SAP Data Intelligence Modeler, SAP Data Intelligence Connection Management, SAP Data Intelligence System Management, and more. The SAP Data Intelligence Modeler helps create data processing pipelines, or graphs, and provides a runtime and design time environment for data-driven scenarios. The tool reuses existing coding libraries to orchestrate data processing in distributed landscapes. Let's take a look. SAP Data Intelligence comes with a set of predefined graphs and operators and allows users to create new graphs and operators as well. A graph is a network of operators connected to each other using typed input ports and output ports for data transfer. Users can define and configure the operators in a graph. Here we have the graph editor. You can use this editor to create a graph with one or more operators. On the left hand side we have the navigation pane, which allows you to access graphs, operators, repository, configuration types, and data types. In the Graphs tab, you can access the SAP Data Intelligence built-in graphs and other user-created graphs organized under various categories. You can also create new graphs from here. In the Operators tab, you can access the SAP Data Intelligence built-in operators and other user-created operators organized under various categories. You can also create new operators from here. The ABAP CDS reader can be used to read data from a CDS view. The SLT connector operator establishes a connection between the SAP Landscape Transformation Replication Server and SAP Data Intelligence. The Google BigQuery producer operator writes to a Google BigQuery table using the FlowAgent subengine to connect to Google BigQuery. Users can either specify the full path of the source Google Cloud Storage file in the operator's configuration or connect any file producer that outputs the full path of the Google Cloud Storage file to the input of the operator. The Oracle Table Consumer reads from an Oracle Table or View. With the DQMM Address Cleanse operator, you can prepare address cleanse requests to be sent to the SAP Data Quality Management Microservices for Location Data. SAP Data Quality Management Microservices for Location Data offers cloud-based microservices for address cleansing, geocoding, and reverse geocoding. You can embed address cleansing and enrichment services within any business process or application so that you can quickly reap the value of complete and accurate address data. The person and firm cleanse operator identifies the name of people and firms even when both types of names are in the same column. Sometimes person and firm data is listed in one column, such as a customer column. Let's say that you own a bakery. You deliver your baked goods to businesses such as grocery stores, as well as to people in their homes. In your data, you have a customer column that contains both the names of businesses and of individual people. In some instances, businesses have names that resemble people's names. For example, a person can be named Misty Green, but that can also be the name of a plant or an agricultural watering company. Whether the person or firm data is in a single column or in separate person and firm columns, the person and firm cleanse operator can help differentiate these types of data by comparing the name to a list of firm name data. This is a pre-trained image classification service. The service takes as input one or several images and classifies each of them into a set of a thousand categories, such as trees, animals, food, vehicles, people, and more. 
This is a pre-trained text classification service. The model for the classifier was obtained by training on approximately 300,000 IceCat product texts. The classifier chooses from a set of 50 categories. Now let's take a look at the Repository tab. In the Repository tab, you can create and work with different modeler objects, such as graphs, operators, types, and so on. You can also create new folders, import auxiliary files or solutions, or export folders as .tgz files or as vSolution files. In the Configuration Types tab, you can access all type definitions or create new types. In the Data Types tab, you can create data types that allow to define structure for input data stream, which can be used in further processing steps in the pipeline. In the right pane, you can define the configuration parameters for the graph, groups, and operators. The graph editor includes a toolbar, which you can use to perform operations on the graph, for example, to save and execute a graph, to perform an auto layout of operators, and more. The bottom pane consists of a status pane, log pane, schedule, and a trace pane for the modeler. You can use these panes to monitor the status of the graph execution, trace messages based on severity levels, monitor graph schedules, and view various logs that the application creates for graph execution, respectively. Now let's build our graph. We'll add the data generator as a node. We can configure the properties for our operator here. For JavaScript operators, Python operators, multiplexer operators, and other extensible operators, you can define more input and output ports. We can also find detailed documentation for various operators and example graphs that the application provides by selecting this icon. Now we'll connect the data generator to a terminal operator. Now we can save our sample graph. And now we can run the graph. We can see that the graph is about to run. and now the graph is running. If we select the job, we can see the status and details. And here we can see more information to debug the data. Next, we will describe a selection of commonly used operators that are added as a single entity to the graph instead of adding these operators one by one and configuring them individually. A graph snippet is an entity that contains groups of operators and connections, which performs a single logical function. You can import graph snippets to your graph. This created a graph which will be configured to match your landscape. First, we select the source file, which will be read by read file operator and then choose the target HANA table to load to. Now, we have created our own graph that is ready to run from graph snippets. SAP Data Intelligence also provides predefined templates for common usage scenarios as an alternative to building your own graph.
Here we can see a variety of templates using different systems. We'll take a look at an ABOP scenario template. This template scenario consists of a SLT reader operator that runs on a connected ABOP system which streams the data into a pipeline with the Kafka producer operator. Now we've seen two ways to easily create pipelines in SAP Data Intelligence.